What is up guys, this is Morton Power 35 here and today what I got for you guys is a video that I think you guys will be pretty interested in um, or at least I hope you will um, and uh, this is my opinion on why Infinity Ward is packaging Modern Warfare Remastered with Infinite, Infinite Warfare and um, I know I'm probably going to open myself up to some hate and I'm preparing myself for that so in the comment section, I want you guys to tell me what you guys feel about my opinion and, uh, and you know, just give me your thought process on it because uh, I'm giving you my thought process and I want to hear your guys' thought process on it. So, jumping into my opinion, um, I think, because I've been hearing all of the, oh, Activision and Infinite Ward are, or Infinity Ward are, all they're just money hungry that's why they're the they're putting modern warfare remastered out it's just because they don't think infinity ward is gonna sell and i think that's the farthest thing from the truth um i know that having modern warfare there will give it the you know give it some more popularity but i think what they're doing is they're trying to listen to the fans even though they're not gonna their main title isn't gonna be what the fans want um, and what I mean by that is when Infin Infinity Ward started developing Infinite Warfare, the, the general synopsis of the, the Call of Duty community was we want something different because they started developing this game right after, um, they released Ghost and people didn't like Ghost. So they're, they're developing the game. And they're awaiting um, Advanced Warfare's release, you know, to kind of get the feeling of what Advanced Warfare is going to get, the reaction, and things like that. And they're starting to to develop their game, pitching their ideas and stuff. And people were were mixed on Advanced Warfare. There were people that liked it and people that didn't. So I think that they felt like they should continue with um, continue with making it you know because they were already a year into the development cycle when advanced warfare came out so it was kind of a little bit too late at that point for them to just scrap the game and you know give you guys something that wasn't fully you know put time and effort into so they continued to make um what would now be called infinite infinite warfare and they were gonna say okay we'll let it ride this by the way this is just my opinion this isn't factual uh, but they they're probably thinking okay we'll let it ride and uh you know we'll see what people think and then the black ops 3 came out and again it got a little bit of mixed reactions because of all the movement systems and people you know they didn't like the movement system from advanced warfare and to me to be completely honest advanced warfare took it a little bit too far with the boost jumping and i think treyarch did a great job at you know balancing the scales and making the movement system work i love black ops 3's movement system and then you know infinity ward's seen that and they're like okay so this is what black ops did right you know this is what black ops did right this is what they did wrong this is what advanced warfare did right this is what advanced warfare did wrong and i think they started to you know develop their game and try to be you know hit the best parts of both games and the trailer the leaks came out saying that uh, call of duty 2016 was going into the future it was going into space and people just didn't like that and me to be completely honest when i first heard about that i was really skeptical and i was already really skeptical about this game because i knew it was an infinity war title and i did not like ghost but i think that they they um they seen that and they were probably already in the mindset that they were going to do this, but they decided to, then the, the rumors came out that we were going to be getting the, um, Modern Warfare Remastered as a pre-order bonus. And, you know, then the leaked images came out of the cover and all that. And it said, you were only going to be able to get it with the legacy or legacy pro editions of the game. And then people were like, oh, well, they don't think that the game is going to sell because you know without our on its own it's not gonna sell as a standalone game and they decided to put you know modern warfare remastered in there to where it would sell it would sell by the name of modern warfare 
and I think that the Call of Duty fans felt like it would devalue Modern Warfare Remastered or Modern Warfare because they were trying to use that to sell Infinite Warfare and that's the farthest thing from the truth guys um to be completely honest I feel like the reason why they made the remastered of Modern Warfare was so that they could you know appease the Call of Duty community and even with you know the hate of Infinite Warfare and I think people are gonna you know they're gonna like Infinite Warfare it's not gonna be the greatest Call of Duty game in history but I think it'll be just fine to get through the development cycle or to get through the the life cycle of the game and you know just be a, you know one of the one of the better Call of Duties I think it's gonna be better than Ghost I think it's gonna be better than Advanced Warfare um, but I don't think that they package Modern Warfare Remastered to sell Infinite Warfare. And I don't know. I just, that's that's the way I'm feeling. And I think Infinity Ward is starting a trend that's going to continue with Sledgehammer. I don't think that they have a previous title other than Advanced Warfare. I may be wrong. Let me know in the comment section if they do. Um... And especially with Treyarch, because Treyarch has great games that they've done in the past um, that they could remaster to sell with their um, with their current title, which whatever whatever direction they decide to go with that. And to be completely honest, the first studio that you can really say did not listen to the fans if they continue with the 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 futuristic stuff would be Treyarch because that's the first studio that actually had the whole three-year development cycle to say okay the fans don't like this how are we going to change that so i think that's where we should start you know saying okay maybe they're not listening to the fans but i trust treyarch and if they do make a game and i believe it's 2018 it's going to be a good game and i think they'll listen to the community and i think they'll bring bring um innovative measures to to the Call of Duty franchise but there you guys have it that's just my opinion um if you like the the video just smash that like button and um like I said comment in the comment section with what you guys um feel about you know the packaging of Modern Warfare Remastered with Inf Infinite Warfare and you know just everything that I talked about and if, if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button um and I'll I do more content like this all the time um and I would love to see you guys stick around the channel. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.